Hi, this is a demonstration of Dairy Farm Manager incoming transaction section. So in this section, we can uh, input all the incoming transactions. These are uh, those transactions in which uh, we have bought something from a supplier or dealer. So let's see how this works. We can uh, first select uh, the supplier name from this uh, drop down list here. So if the supplier name is not available here, you can go to the supplier module and you can click on add suppliers and there you can add that particular supplier and then a name will appear here. After that you have to select the type of product here, the base or master. So when you select uh, the type of product, you can select the product under that category here. So if you don't have your product here, you can go to the product section and you can add a master or base products and then come back here. So now we are in uh, no suppose we bought uh, two liters of milk from this supplier so you can enter two here and as per the amount it will uh, show you the amount of that uh, particular product but here you can also edit it as desired so if you bought at a lesser rate you, you can uh, edit the amount and then uh, you can click on add so in this way you can uh, add products uh, that you bought so you can also you know add more products if you bought uh, more products at a time so you can uh, also select uh, other products suppose you bought another product so suppose you bought uh, 5 kgs of this product So you can enter 5, then you can edit the amount with whatever amount you bought it and then click on add. And uh, this is how you can uh, add uh, products, you can also add master products. So once you enter the products that you got, you can click on done. And after that, you can enter the total amount. So. You know here you can uh, it, system automatically calculates the total amount at which you bought those products and then you can uh, add uh, you know the paid amount as well as balance amount so this is the amount you have paid to the supplier right now when you make enter this transaction and this is the balance amount here so suppose you don't uh, pay the full amount at once you can add this uh, paid amount as well as balance amount here for the record so you can track it again and you can update this transaction when you pay the rest amount so this is how the in transaction or transaction incoming transaction module works thank you